Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, new video. So in our previous videos, uh, we have uh, discussed with the FIR structures, right? FIR structures, uh, we have discussed and uh, two different forms in FIR structures we have discussed. One is direct form and another one is cascaded form. Again, uh, in, in that direct form also, there are a uh, few uh, substructures that is one is a uh, uh, linear phase direct form and one is normal direct form. Okay, in that how to draw the different structures we have discussed. Okay. And also in the cascaded form also we have seen uh, using direct form how we can do the cascaded form structures also we have seen it okay. So direct form and cascaded form uh, all the different kinds of system functions and problems you have done it. So again those who have not watched it do watch those videos okay. So in this we are in this session we are going to start with one concept of module 5 okay which is similar to the uh, uh, block diagram only that is in, in this time it is IIR structures. IIR stands for infinite impulse response and FIR stands for finite impulse response those who don't know so in, in IIR structures also we have two kinds of structures one is direct form one and another one is direct form two okay these two are interrelated to each other because uh, in all the problems we should be applying both direct form one and direct form two we cannot solve these problems separately okay these two are interrelated and you should be solving this using a single problem so I am going to explain this direct form 1 and direct form 2 using uh, one problem. Okay. Very easy guys. So in FIR structures what we had, we had a y of n in one side and in, in the other side, in the right hand side we all the terms including x of n right. But in IIR structures there is one single change that is an equation would be consisting of uh, there is no equal to sign here. Would, equation would be consisting of y of n terms as well as x of n terms okay that is in first we had only y of n and rest all the terms for x of n right here we have y of n y of n minus 1 y of n minus 2 x of n x of n minus 1 like that it would be consisting of both y of n and x of n terms okay the 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 type of kind of solving the problems remains the same that is we would be giving you one equation like this with the lhs in this much and rhs this much and they would be equating you Okay, this equation we should be reducing it by having y of n in one side only we should be having y of n and the other side rest all the terms. Okay, like this they would be giving you the equation they won't be giving you straight forward. Okay, first we should be reducing that equation with consisting of y of n in one side and rest all the terms to other side and then drawing the structure. Okay, yeah, so this is one question here. The question is they have given one system function here y of n minus 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n plus half x of n minus 1 obtain df1 that is direct form 1 comma df2 structures of the following system function okay we should be obtaining both direct form 1 and direct form 2 structures okay so now let us solve this first thing is again I have told you right we should be having only y of n on one side so let us do that first so y of n would be equal to if we bring equate y of n these two terms are there would be going to the other, other side that is first write x of n plus 1 by 2 x of n minus 1 because it is in the right hand side only now change these two signs this would be plus 3 by 4 y of n minus 1 then this would be minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 right. So now this we have y of n in one side and rest all the terms in other side now. Now for this we should be drawing the first structure is of df1 direct form 1. So how to draw it this is where observe very carefully. This direct form 1 would be consisting of one input x of n and one output y of n. Okay. The input part in direct form 1 what to do is split the terms of cons with, uh, which consists of x of n and y of n separately okay in the input side x of n uh, draw the structure di direct form structure of only the terms consisting of x of n terms here and in the output side y of n uh, write the structure which consists only of the y of n terms okay very simple so let us do first this term only consider only this much and draw the direct form structure that is we have x of n and uh, the coefficient is 1 okay then draw one summer and from here put one delay of z inverse so this would be now this is coefficient is 1 by 2 so here we have x of n minus 1 right 
so this is the first structure we have done for this now continue this and from here the output side drop one delay so that here we would be getting y of n minus 1 now okay so hope you understood this how we draw since we have y of n minus 1 so from the output side y of n drop one delay and here we would be getting y of n minus 1 drop another delay because we have y of n minus 2 so here we would be getting y of n minus 2 okay very simple now from here the coefficient of y of n minus 1 that is 3 by 4 check the direction it is going towards okay it is not going away it is meeting together so that's why the direction is this side then this summer and this would be meeting here and the coefficient of y of n minus 2 is minus 1 by 8 okay and from here the coefficient of y of n that is 1 itself so one summer here it would be meeting here and this would be meeting here so like this we should be drawing the df1 that is direct form 1 structure consisting of x of n terms in one input side and y of n terms in one output side and the we should merge these two summing points so like this is the structure of df1 now similarly for this df1 structure we should be drawing the df2 structure let us see how to draw that first yeah i have rewritten this df1 structure so now using this df1 i should be drawing the df2 that is direct form 2 structure okay so this is very simple again it consists of input x of n and output y of n okay but there is one change here that is in df2 the input and output won't be changing it remains the same but the structure right so these are the part st structures that structures would be getting interchanged that is this output side structure would be coming into the input side and the input side structure would be coming into the output side this would be interchanged okay that is one single change here so that is the first step of drawing the df2 structure so nothing much to do only that slide uh, whatever we have drawn here shift it here whatever we have drawn here shift it here okay that's it no go, don't make to go any changes okay don't go to make any changes that is this you should be drawing at the input side so this summer would be coming first now nothing just copy paste whatever we have drawn here draw it here that's it okay so here is one delay one more delay so from here this is 3 by 4 minus 1 by 8 let's continue it now this this part that is from here we have this delay One by two. Okay, so this is the DF2 structure. This is not done now. Now the final DF2 structure will be looking like this. See here, these two are in the same path. That is here we he, in this point we have the value of uh, n minus one. That is z inverse delay. Here also we have z inverse delay. So here we can merge these two with a single delay so that we won't be getting any uh, uh, gap in between. So that's why the final DF2 structure would be looking like this. three by four these two delay merge it to one single delay z inverse then the summer okay so here from here we have three by four and from here to here we have one by two right that you write it minus one by eight this z inverse write it as it is x of n y of n okay so this is the final df2 structure like this it would be looking hope this is clear what i have done is these two delays have come merged it here together in a single line okay these two this whole branch here from here to here i brought it here and made these two a single delay and from this point right this common point 
I have joined it and made it one common point and from here we have drawn 3 by 4 and from here we have drawn 1 by 2. Okay. This would be our final DF2 structure. So hope this is clear how to draw the DF1 and DF2 structure. I have uh, tried to explain you in this problem one single example problem. So in the next session we are going to solve the problems related to DF1 DF2 only. There are two important problems. Those two problems we are going to discuss. Okay. So that's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Watch our previous videos thoroughly and do support us guys. Okay. Again, those who have not watched my previous videos of uh, FIR structures because those are very, very important sure questions. Okay. So please watch them. Whatever sure questions are there that only first I'm covering in this DSP uh, subject. Okay. So please do watch it and we have one theory, one module fully based on theory that is module one. I have not yet started module that module only module one. I have kept it at the end because I thought that these are some of the passing uh, problems here. If you know these problems thoroughly, you can easily pass. So no need to learn that theory. Okay. Yeah. So please do watch these videos. It, these are very, very important stuffs which I am covering. Okay. So do support us guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Like this video. So we will see you in the next session. Thank you.